I just want you to look at this and think to yourself, is this really worth it? Huh? Is this really worth it? I also want you to look at this and I want you to think, is it really worth it? Think to yourself, what the fuck is wrong with you? This is clearly about bestiality and insectiality. Yes, you heard me. Insectiality? What the fuck is that? Well, shut the fuck up and let me tell you what it's about. I'm going to tell you right now what it's about. It's all about psych. I'm going to say my intro first and then I'll tell you what it's about. Criminal juice for the blind. That's why I'm saying it aloud. Criminal juice for the blind. For the deaf. That's why I'm giving you sign language. You can see my beautiful... Shiny lips sing it as well. For those actually have eyeballs that work, that's including glasses, bifocals, or monocles. You got the Amnite Burns. You can look into my crotch area. Go through my pubic hair forest. Keep searching. Keep searching. There you find my name on my desktop right there on the bottom. Can you read that? No, it's okay. It's pretty simple. I can teach you how to read it. You're going to do this ass. Anyways, um, this is about bestiality and insectiality. And a lot of you are like, what the fuck is insectiality? Well, I'll get to that for one second. You know what the fuck is bestiality, though? You know exactly what it is. Oh yeah, I know what it is because I fuck animals myself. Oh really? Well guess what, I just heard you say that. And I, now I'm gonna call the 911 and put you in investigations under the FBI, you piece of fucking garbage. What the fuck is wrong with you, huh? Tell me. Oh, but I can't have sex with girls or guys. Yes you can, you dumb bastard. Now I understand. It's more believable when you're from a third world country and all you see is a chicken. And you're like, my dick is hard. I'm going to put it into that chicken's ass. And in my, in, my, in my head, I'm like, I get you're from a third world country. You have a hard cock. And I guess you know about sex because you're thinking about putting it in a chicken's ass. But at the same time, do you have, a, do you have parents or family to teach you that it's wrong to have sex with animals? To begin with, do you understand why when they caught you, they sent you to jail as an 11-year-old child, whatever age you are, stop fucking animals. Now, it makes more sense when the children do weird shit like that because they're, they're, they're not developed. They're all fucking crazy in their head. But then, obviously, the first, you're like, I'm not doing this anymore. That chicken's ass. I just killed the chicken. And you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I just killed the chicken and yeah, you should go to jail for that, okay? You should go to a little, whatever whatever age you are, you should go to jail, okay? Because it's wrong, okay? But when you grow up and then you continue fucking those animals, it's like, okay, now what's going on with you? You're still fucking animals? Now, I can fuck animal because that's what he's called. He's animal. But the difference between an animal and animal is animal can speak. He tells me, sure, I consent to fucking. I want you to fuck me. I'm the only one that could hear him right now at this moment. And he's literally saying, can you stop streaming this fucking shit so you can have sex with me? I'm like, first of all, it's not streaming. It's a fucking vlog. So get that correct. And second of all, I will fuck you after this because you just, you can talk to me. See the difference is animals don't talk. That's the difference. They don't speak. What the fuck is wrong with you? Now, if you had sex with Donald Duck, or Bugs Bunny, it makes all the sense in the world because they talk. Eh, what's up, Doc? They talk, they talk. Fucking Daffy Duck. <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck he sounds anymore. Goofy. <laughs> yeah, you can suck my cock. Whatever the fuck, those things can talk. All of those things can talk. You understand? So when you go up to a fucking llama, and then you tell them to spit on your cock because that's what llamas do. They spit. And I know a lot of people like that sloppy head. But it's not just because it spits. It doesn't mean it wants to actually spit on your It'll spit on anything. Okay? It spits on anything. It doesn't mean that it wants to spit on your cock because it does it. So you're wrong. You should go to jail for that. When you go up to a chicken and you want to stick your cock in there and it goes. Bah, 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 it's, not, it's not making that noise because it likes it. Okay, it's making that noise because it hates it and it didn't and it didn't tell you, you can have sex with it And a lot of times you motherfuckers will actually bang the living crap out of that animal You'll bang it to the point where you kill it And that really bothers me Let me put more lighting in this room so you can understand even more I'm looking at the lighting and I'm like these motherfuckers really need to see me 
to it. So I can really explain to them what the fuck is going on, okay? See, there you go. It looks like there's sun outside, but there absolutely is no sun. But anyways, um, yeah, so they can't fucking talk back to you. The moo, you're like, well, I think it said fuck me. No, it's just mooing. That's what it naturally does. You don't speak cow. You don't speak chicken. You don't speak camel now, do you, huh? Ooh, I like that hump. I'm just going to sit on that camel's hump with my bare ass and let the fucking hump go up my ass. No, that is very, very wrong, you piece of shit. That is not right to do that. Do you understand me? Now get it through your head. You cannot speak to animals. Not even that fucking dog whisperer guy fucks dogs. Well, I could hope he doesn't fuck dogs. He, hey, uh, let's just pray that he doesn't fuck any dogs or whatever the hell. But not even him. He understands dogs the most and he understands, let me not fuck this dog. Now, if you, like I said, if you want to fuck Goofy, it makes sense because Goofy's a dog that can speak. And he'll just want to, he'll actually say whether or not he wants to have sex with you. Okay, now this is the one thing I really got to get into right now. This is a big, big issue. And I'm actually starting up a non-profit organization on helping uh, the, the insectiality cause. I'm the first person to ever speak on this because a lot of people never even think about it. They're just like, animals this, animals that. No, we've got a big issue with the insects getting fucked. Do you understand? That's the part that really, mm, just thinking about that. Oh my God, I just want to get so angry because that's even crazier. Do you think that it's okay? First of all, you're just killing fucking bugs. You know your cock cannot fit into a goddamn ant's ass. It just squishes and you keep fucking every ant. Like, oh, I'm going to keep, oh, maybe this ant's ass is bigger. Oh, look at this queen. She has a big ass. Let me fuck that. No, you're killing them each and every one of them. Every single anthill that you go on and you're like, well, I don't know if this is going to turn me on, but these ants are turning me on and I'm just going to come on top of them. Oh, you come on top of the ants and you're just drowning them in your fucking cum, you disgusting motherfuckers. You disgust me. You just killed a bunch of ants just so you could get a fucking... Uh, orgasm or whatever the fuck the problem is. If you want to jerk off the ants and all that, go ahead, do it. Even though I, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, but go ahead and do it. But you don't have to try to fuck a goddamn mantis, a praying mantis, and then you're wondering why it's dead. You just can't have sex with them, okay? Don't think I don't know about that. And I've seen girls do it too. Well, they'll have a nice little pet roach or they'll, they'll, they'll have the roach like, oh, I, I love it when he crawls on my face. And now, and now it's crawling on the face, but for some reason when it reaches the mouth area, you just see the tongue. I'm like, uh, let me pay attention to that. Once again, crawling, and you just see. And I'm like, are you, what are you, why are you licking in that way? And, I'm, and they're like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, I know what the fuck you're doing. You're eating out the fucking roach. You're eating the roach's ass or the pussy, whatever the fuck the roach has. Don't think I don't know. All of you motherfuckers are going to go to jail at one point because my organization is going to start a non-profit organization against insectiality. Let me, let, me, let me watch you. This female right here has gone to jail already. Just so you know, she's in jail. This is my, that was my face that I made when I caught her doing this. And like I said, you're not getting away with it, you disgusting freaks out there, okay? Don't ever do this again. Hold on, let me stretch my... Okay, don't ever do this again. Bestiality and insectiality is wrong. That's it. That's it. You understand me? And if I ever catch you at SeaWorld putting your fingers in a whale's blowhole and fingering it, I'm going to put my fist in your blowhole and fist the living shit out of your life. Because you're going to jail and that's where you're going to get fisted for the rest of your life. Because guess what they do in jail, baby, baby? You're going to get fisted like a motherfucker. Oh, but I like to get fisted. Oh, you do? Are you going to enjoy 10 fists going up your ass? Because when they find out why you're in jail for bestiality and insectiality, you're dead, motherfucker. Thank you. This is vlog. I don't even know what the fuck this, what vlog number this is. But thank you for watching. This was a very important PSA public service announcement. Thank you. You're welcome.